My next guest says he met his sweetheart in preschool. They were three years old. Matt Grotsky says Laura was his best friend. With her pre-K class as his witness, Matt vowed that he would one day marry Laura. Now, that may sound like a long shot coming from a three-year-old, right? Well, after Matt and Laura lost touch for 10 years, they reunited in high school. Matt knew he still had a shot. And after 20 years, he kept his pledge, the love of his life, and dropped down on his knee for the moment that you see there. And they join us now. Talk about keeping your promise. Matt and Laura and their home in Phoenix. Well, this is just beautiful story. Congratulations to all of you. Matt, I got to tell you, so you're three years old and you had the presence of mind to say that I, I, this is going to be the person I want to marry. You're three. Yeah, I was uh, infatuated with her from day one. So it just kind of seemed like a no-brainer to me. So I figured, hey, got nothing to lose. I'm three, I'm young, let's go for it. Laura, do you even, let's go for I'm three, I'm young, let's go for it. Things I never thought I'd ever hear in my life, and I did. Yeah. Laura, do you even remember this in third grade? Yes, I do. I'm um, at age I three. You're three, you remember that? Yeah. Yes, I do. I remember um, him saying it to the class, and I just turned to him and I said, Matthew, I think we should wait a little bit. We're a little young. What were your parents letting you watch on television that you know that me? <laughs> they don't have this episode on Sesame Street. Okay, so Matt, your families, you know, you grow up, your families didn't keep in touch. You did share Christmas cards. When you finally reunited with her all those years later, did you bring it up instantly? I, I think initially uh, I was just so excited to be connected with her again. I tried to play it cool because, you know, I was, I was a <laughs> How did you I... reconnect? Was it a friend? How did you, on social media, how did you reconnect? So I reconnected with him. Um, I was looking through a girl's phone and I was putting my number in her phone and I was kind of scrolling a little bit. I didn't go too far. Um, and I saw his name in her phone and I said, oh my goodness, I totally know Matt Gratsky. I went to preschool with him. He was my best friend. We have all of these pictures together. And he, she said, um, I think I'm gonna set you guys up. And I told her, no, no. I, I don't really want a boyfriend right now. Oh um, and she gave him my number, and we have talked ever since. Yeah. So high school all the way through college, and then you get to the moment where you want to honor that promise from age three, Matt. Did it feel like a fairy tale come true uh, on your wedding day, and there you are saying, I do? Absolutely. I mean, I felt like we'd, we'd come full circle and, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that I proposed um, in a place that was meaningful. So I brought her back to the preschool where we'd met and I proposed there and then um, we got married. I think it was a, a year and a half later mm -hmm. uh, in December. So we're coming up on just about four years now. And yeah, it was it was a dream come true. I mean, I, I just, I don't think, this is one of the most beautiful love stories ever. I mean, you think about it, you made this promise and a pledge. Do you think in the back of your mind, your whole life, Matt, you really wanted to honor that promise, even though you were just three? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, growing up through elementary school, you know, you've got a lot going on at that point in time. But when we reconnected again and started dating, you know, it was evident from the start we loved each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was committed to and we were both committed to sticking it out through the, the good times and the tough times. And and uh, we've achieved that. And, um, you know, we still work at it every day and, and she still puts up with me. So <laughs> Well, listen, she, you, I don't think you're going to ever get rid of each other after three year olds make that pledge. You're stuck with each other. Well, it's a blessing again to talk with you. I just love it. I think you're so inspiring. Congratulations. Thank you. you.